Welcome to Antimatic Chemistry. I took some suggestions after doing breakout in the comments, basically saying I should try a mod pack called Chemical Exchange by L132. And I took a look at that and it apparently is still in beta, but I'm um, happy to try it anyway. However, in the release notes for that pack, it basically says, this is sort of a condensed lightweight version of his other mod pack, which is called Antimatter Chemistry. So since I hadn't tried that, I thought, why don't we give it a try and see where we get to. So if we have a look in single player, you can create from template. And there are two templates. One is Sky Pillar, a sky block like experience and a tall pillar of antimatter. <laughs> and then standard template. First time players, please use this template. Do we really want to do that? Do we, or do we just want to go for, for the, this one? We're, we are a first time player? Hmm. I think we're going to go for that one. Let's go and create a pillar and see what we go from here. And the world is generated, and it's absolutely right. We are on a pillar of, well, it says antimatter. That will go very badly if we were made of matter. In case you don't know, matter and antimatter will essentially annihilate if they hit each other. Not some kind of cascade effect. They will literally just both turn entirely to energy, and that will be that. So yeah, that's that will be that will be quite bad. Anyway, quest book. Uh, I have already reset my controls. So if we go into options, controls, uh, in here, if you go for quest. I've just set a quest key to my backspace backspace key, uh, just so I don't need, need to actually go to this quest book all the time, and we can get a, something sorted from there. So in here we have just like uh, in various other packs, we have a few different tabs, including side quests and final, but otherwise chapters one through six. So chapter one says eighteen percent, and maybe because I have my um, my previous world, if I was doing a test world. Uh, so, yeah, not sure why, unless it counts these, which would be very odd. Anyway, tasks. Basically, click on a check mark, and we get stuff. So, let's take all of that. And we can then click on over here and get all of those items. So, there we go. We have a culinary generator. We have 16 sugar cane, some wet sand, uh, alchemistry guidebook, and a stone pickaxe. So, we're immediately going to be using our stone pickaxe. And what we actually are going to need, I think, let's just go back to the quests. It wants us to make four stone sharpening kits. Now, uh, in fact, do we have JEI click through? We do. Oh, that's so nice. So to do this, we need white antimatter and gray antimatter. We can only see white. Gray happens to be just underneath. So if we just pop down, you'll see there is the gray antimatter. And I'm just going to basically dig out an area that we're going to fill in. Uh, again in a second, and I'm going to need some of the grey as well. So uh, we're going to need two per sharpening uh, stone, so that pretty much means because I need four, I need eight basically of the prior type, so let's just get that out of the way. There we go. So uh, we should be able to make, if I remembered it the right way around, uh, the sharpening stones. Nope. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's that done. And then what we can do is uh, we can put down some wet sand and I guess we can put them down. Do not you going to go one down? Yeah, probably. Let's just put it one down. Save me digging some more space up. And then we can then put our sugar canes down and you'll notice that it uh, doesn't need water and you're pretty much unlimited. So you can see here, able to grow sugar cane without adjacent water blocks. So that's pretty good. All right, with that done, I guess uh, that quest will be done. Yep, and we get some more stone sharpening kits, some toasted bread, and a chest. Well, the chest is going to go down, so let's just put that there, and let's just dump all of this other stuff in here. Okay, so we've got everything we need in there, and then we have a couple of things that we can use. This chemical reactor requires 100 Fe per tick, and a culinary generator, and of course we can use our toasted bread as the, the culinary things in question. Uh, we got a quest that then says it wants us to make 14 sucrose. Now sucrose is something you can make from cellulose. I get, well, sorry, you get cellulose or sucrose from apples, but there's other stuff as well. And of course, sugarcane is one of the other things. So maybe it's not the bread. Maybe it has to be a, uh, yeah, maybe it has to be the the sugarcane. So yeah, we're going to need to grow sugarcane and we get sucrose out of it. So to get 14 sucrose, we need 14 sugarcane. So the other things we got was the color generator and the chemical dissolver. So I'm just going to put these down and this, these will have to just go down here for now. So let's just put that down 
and put the dissolver right next to it, um, right there. Okay, and then we should be able to just power this uh, with any sort of food, I would imagine. Yep, there it goes. And it started generating power, which this is feeding into. Now, you can dissolve stuff into it to get the various chemicals. In this pack, you're basically trying to get the chemical compounds and elements as well. So we're going to be able to take something like white, white antimatter or sugarcane, and we're going to be able to get things out of them. So as I just said, sugarcane, uh, we get sucrose back out of it. But if we put white antimatter in there, you'll see we get silicon dioxide. Now, silicon dioxide, we can convert, I think, into gravel, but we need an actual crafting grid for that. And you know what we're short of? Wood. <laughs> how, how are we going to make a crafting grid? What is it actually, well, what is it uh, available in this pack? Uh, crafting? Crafting of any kind? There we go. Crafting table, even. So, yeah, wood, as it says. That's, that's very handy. Um, how about uh, planks? Is there any way to just make planks from logs? Uh, doesn't look like there's any way of using uh, chemicals directly. So how about the logs? Chemical combiner, if we get cellulose, we get wood out of it. Using a combiner, that is, not, a, not the splitter. So the combiner, we can't make yet. <laughs> Right, that's going to be a problem to get a crafting grid. Yeah. So although I don't want to actually use these up, it looks like I'm going to have to just to actually get these quests. Um, how many do we actually need? 12. What's the quest say? Uh, 14. So I ended up with one, one piece left, really? Uh, do I have anything else? I don't have anything else. Uh, well, I have one already, so I guess I could just put that one back down. We get two pieces of sugarcane to start off with then. And the rest we should have. So we've got the sucrose. We can convert those across. And that gets me the 14 I need for chest test tube experiments. And we get a chemical combiner from that. So that's good. And some leadstone flux dope. Because we're going to need some way of uh, powering all this stuff. So, yep, we can sort that one out. Uh, if we just, for a second, grab you. Oh, we don't want to drop it off here. That's uh, important. Especially, uh, there doesn't appear to be any way of, well, getting this back, so that's fine. And let's just put this, uh, I don't know, here for now. Put our leadstone flux duct in underneath. There we go. And then that should be what we need. So if we just put down our combiner, let's put it there. And our chemical, well, culinary generator, we'll put there. Pop another piece of bread in there. Okay, so now we can make two different things. Uh, we can combine things and we can dissolve things. So there is another thing here. Crouched bone meal nearby plants. Okay. Uh, seems like you have special fertilizing gas when it builds up when released when you're crouching. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, the, the quest wasn't called fertilize, <laughs> just to be clear. Uh, yeah, something similar. So, yeah, do I have any kind of bone meal effects on these guys? Uh, yeah. Well, oh, well, hang on. Yep, looks like I do. So we can get more sugar cane pretty quickly. Well, let's see how, how well that, uh, that does in practice. And thankfully for most skyblocks, it is not the twerk key. So I don't need to, I don't need to basically spam my shift key. I can just basically hold it down and it will start basically growing crops around me, which is pretty good, which means you can just wedge it down if you really want things to grow. Right now, of course, we don't have all that much to grow, but uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty good otherwise. So yeah, we've already got our 12 back and we've got nine more growing away there. So that will work pretty well. There we go. So cool. Next quest, we need triglycerides. <laughs> Not the, the most easy thing to say, but triglycerides and we get some bread for it. Okay, so sugar is great and all, but you need more than that if you're going to survive very long. Break down sucrose and combine the elements back again with a shiny new chemical combiner to form triglycerides. So if we take our sucrose and uh, if we just break, let's just break half of it down, you'll see we start to get chemical elements. Um, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, etc, etc. And we can pull those out. Let's just dump them we seem to be able to just hold carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen in our hands in some sort of magical test tube. But it is called alchemistry, so you've got to figure them something. So we then need triglycerides. So uh, for that, we're going to see what the recipe is. So we don't want the dissolver. We want this. So carbon, 
hydrogen oxygen in a line and uh yeah don't we still or is that in the whoops was the, were all those recipes in the combiner rather than in the crafting grid yeah because then I've, i don't need the crafting grid at all yeah okay that's in the combiner maybe i was just meh. if i made a mistake sorry it's probably just the combiner then so c h and o so uh c uh, let's just go for a full stack c h and o and it looks well we're probably going to need to make more of these combiners in future to get the recipe right but it made two triglycerides okay so we're probably going to need uh to first of all lock that recipe and second of all get all of the output here so um let's just grab the h and lock the recipe then we'll just dump in the rest and it looks like we're going to need more carbon clearly there we go carbon um why aren't you resuming is that not the recipe that, that i'm sure that is the recipe recipe triglycerides c h o why are you having problems ah you're not only when it's locked for some reason okay never mind so we've got four triglycerides and that's enough for the quest which gets us some bread moving on we've got diversified crops so we need to create four wheat seeds and we'll get some dirt and we'll get a hoe fine so let's just take a look at the seeds uh we can combine triglycerides and sucrose into seeds okay so that's fine uh, let me just dump all of this stuff out so triglycerides and uh, sucrose so we just need four sucrose and then uh we can just dump all this stuff out and maybe combine this once i figure out the right recipe again so triglyceride and sucrose so this recipe four seeds and the quest is done these are all quite straightforward so far i quite like them so we got some dirt and we get a wooden hoe that's fine enough to start farming and then planting matter create <laughs> four cellulose moles for, uh, well is that a play word for chemical moles uh, is this the quantity for moles yeah it must just be quantity fine so for that we need cellulose which needs us to get some other stuff uh ch and o but this time it's slightly different arrangement can we actually just shift click that in if i were to go here and um what's the name of this stuff again we want cellulose yeah cellulose if i go here cellulose can we shift click in looks like we can yeah so if i do ch and o yep it will then produce cellulose and i'm gonna need four of it so let's just make a little bit more uh is the o we're short of there we go cool so we've got everything we need there and that quest is done these are fast okay <laughs> we get a pineapple pizza i guess um yep we're gonna need something more sturdy fine so now we're into saplings and apples so presumably oh what can we compare for apples yeah cellulose and sucrose again so i'll make more of those and we'll get an apple um however the the other quest is perhaps more important saplings uh do we can we get oh yeah oxygen and cellulose we'll be able to make saplings from that so that just need a few bits and pieces uh cellulose i'm probably gonna need more stuff i guess oh we got so we got some oxygen as well okay that's fine so sapling and shift click so o was it o yes and cellulose okay there's our saplings do we need more than that we need 16 Ugh. okay so clearly i'm gonna need uh i'm gonna need more oxygen and more cellulose cellulose i can get quite easily hi there we go plenty of cellulose and dump that in here oh that's sucrose Ugh. oh well we need the sucrose anyway <laughs> i'll go make more cellulose back in a second there's all of our saplings done and we get some more seeds for the reward i haven't even bothered planting anything else down now uh excavating hold uh yes uh, yeah hold the the key and our excavation is installed yeah we're on a platform um oh okay antimatter seems to be immune to its powers good so we can't erase the platform we're stood on 
that, that's that's very very good <laughs> that's very very good indeed so yeah we can use that for trees once we have an axe and stuff like that and on this side we need basically eight apples so those are going to be straightforward as well so cellulose and sucrose and they can combine into apples so um i have some bits and pieces but uh i need again more cellulose which is just more cho well, there's our first batch of apples eight of them and that gets that quest done and we get even more apples fine no problem and then they both combine towards the crafting table so crafting crafting table or crafting station so we need to go back through this and then craft the relevant things so again we just need to get oak and of course to do that uh we should just be able to grow stuff so if we just take another uh why don't we just take another batch of uh antimatter out Okay, I'm going to leave the grey antimatter underneath and we'll just basically put down some dirt here and get this growing. Obviously, we should be able to grow things um, because we have this uh, this bone meal effect from being near things. So why don't we just get, hopefully, some uh, trees going. So oak sapling and hold down a shift and uh, hope for that to actually pop through. Are you going to... Well, you're growing the, you're growing the sugar cane. Are you going to grow... Ah, there we go trees okay so i'm clearly going to need an axe soon but for now hopefully i can actually punch wood i can good and we'll be able to get our trees from that do we have fast leaf decay in fact oh hang on it did say you can use all our excavation let's see if that works uh yes it is and we do seem to have fast leaf decay as well as uh tiny progressions okay right so from that we should be able to just make our crafting table there's our planks. There's our crafting table. Let's actually just make two. And uh, we'll put them down somewhere. We really don't have a lot of room here, so I'm just going to have to bear with it for a, uh, well, this episode and who knows, maybe next as well. And there we have our crafting table. Good, good, good. Uh, we need a crafting station, so let's just make another one. Why not? And put it back through. And we'll do that with the others as well, because I want something that retains the the, the the stuff I put in them. I don't want it to just get lost when I move out. So you can get that. You can get there. Let's just put these down. And uh, let's just put them through here. There we go. Crafting station. There we go. Okay. And let's just put that block back for now. Fine. So that's that quest. And we get five more pieces of bread. Clearly, this is going to be bread generation as far as power is concerned. And then we've got chemistry cabinet. Interesting. Are they just storage drawers? Yeah, they are just storage drawers. Two by two storage drawers, in fact, which are pretty good to get going. And you get a draw controller and a periodic diagram. Uh, okay, so we're probably going to need to know the periodic table. This is educational as well as a game, I suppose. So basic drawers, two by two, are going to be straightforward. So draw uh, two by two. Uh, we should be able to just search on two by two. Uh, unless they've changed it. No, it is just chests. Chests and there is no casings or anything like that, like the crates, so we should be okay. Uh, so I just need to go and obviously grow a few more trees. Okay, plenty of trees gotten and we should be able to spell uh, four chests. And do we actually need... Um, how, how many of this of these 2 by 2s does this actually make? Does it make just one batch or does it make more? Uh, it just makes one batch of four, so that's exactly how many we need, so that's good. Chemistry cabinet, your climate storage will soon be overflowing with new chemicals. You need to find a better solution to store it all. And yeah, we get a draw controller and a periodic diagram, so we don't have much room right now. But And I definitely don't want to go off the edge, so I think I want to generate more blocks pretty soon. But for the time being, I'm just going to extend outwards, I think. Uh, yep, yeah, there's a... Uh, there is a oh there's more oh, there's more white antimatter further down can you see that there's like a layer of the 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 light gray and there's more white below that so let's actually just put some of this down and uh, then i can feel a little bit safer on going out here there we go and what i don't know is if this pack maybe someone can tell me uh does this pack need torches down because if so i'm gonna have find a limit pretty quickly um, and here I'm just going to put down our draw controller. Uh, for now, it's not going to be impressive, so I'm just going to put it here, and uh, we will just start putting in drawers. So um, one, two, and uh, let's just put them like this for now, 
and we've got some space so we can just fill that in uh, i don't have a draw key yet and i definitely don't have the resources to create one so let's just put in carbon and oxygen and hydrogen and then we've got cellulose above on the left hand side here i guess you can structure them like your chemistry uh, sort of periodic table uh, i'm not going to worry about it just yet but uh, we will need to do that let's have a look right click okay no oh, whoops, whoops no give that back right click okay so here's our periodic table yep they're really trying to be educational but except that i don't know all of these by the two letter names maybe we will by the end of the episode obviously the common ones you know hydrogen lithium uh stuff like that is straightforward and helium and then neon argon and krypton and all that other kind of stuff that's fine uh we'll just store it in our chest for now that can just go away thank you very much and uh i guess we can get more of our sucrose easily enough Okay, so what's our next quest that we've got available on this pack? So we need to go here. Gathering antimatter, mine a stack of white and light grey antimatter. So we need to go down. Should the strange material, if you gather enough, you must then try dissolving it, see if any useful uh, results from it. Well, I already know what we get from it. I think the white stuff gives us silicon dioxide, um, which we can just turn into gravel. Although that didn't actually give me anything. <laughs> Oh, it has only has a chance of giving you something. Yes, sorry, there is that. So, uh, we're going to have to dig. And I'm going to be digging down. And hopefully we ha we don't need a light source. Uh, that's just the edge of the platform. Yeah, maybe I want to dig down somewhere else. Maybe down here or something like that. Yeah. I don't want to go around the edge of the platform. I'd rather keep some kind of wall in the way. Uh, and uh, I'll keep going. So I'll bring you back once I've dug down a little bit and see what we get down here. Bonus points. It seems charcoal is just carbon. So we have some carbon. So we should be able to combine that, I think. Uh, we should get rid of that target. If we just put carbon... Where is it for coal? Our uh, carbon is in the middle. So let's just put it there. Oh, unlock recipe. Put it there. And we get coal. Which we can then, of course, use as normal with sticks. Hopefully. This isn't one of those punishing packs that makes you hunt for sticks, but we get lots of torches so we can light our way down. So it doesn't take much to actually get through this, but once you run out of durability on your pickaxe, you'll want to use one of those stone sharpening kits in a crafting in your, your own crafting grid with them, and you'll get uh, what you actually need there. So I've built basically, or I've started excavating some rooms down here. We're in a very tall pillar, of course, so we've got to... Uh, Deal with this the way we can. And then it's basically going to ask us to dissolve this stuff, isn't it? So, uh, gathering antimatter. Surely this strange material is made of something. If you gather enough, you can then try dissolving it, see if any useful results. So let's try dissolving it. Let's put a stack of white in there. And there is our silicon dioxide, as well as some tungsten. Only a very small amount of tungsten, mind you, but tungsten all the same. And then some light grey as well. And you can see we get carbon, we get some iron, which will be, which will be good. Uh, but we're going to want to be able to create a loop somehow. We need to be able to get uh, more iron. So we're going to deal with that somehow. Uh, let's just um, dump the iron in here as well. So I will rearrange these into chemical elements at some point, I, I promise. But uh, right now... Oh, uh, well, at least it does actually tell me what the, the symbols are. That's fine. And silicon dioxide is the important one because silicon dioxide, we can then take and recombine back into other stuff so we can make quartz with it. Uh, but we can also, I think, increase our mining tier. It did say we can actually combine the stone kit with a piece of flint. And for a piece of flint, we just need to be able to generate flint, of course, which presumably is just gravel in the usual kind of bog standard minecraft way which we can get from silicon dioxide like this so if we just uh, get some silicon dioxide and we just get three pieces of gravel can we go, may just make flint from that just like normal we can and if we then just get one of these stone sharpening kits can we, can we bind, combine both of those it says combine with a flint is that a different recipe okay let's just look for uses of stone sharpening kits um does not say how you combine it with a flint yeah i'll have to look that up later anyway 48 iron collect 48 iron moles so yeah our quantity is going to be called moles and we don't have quite that amount we've only got a quarter of that so i'm going to need to dig a lot more uh why is there only one layer more white antimatter can be found beneath that yeah that's a good thing i actually look further down even more can be obtained for loot crates in the future fine 
And then Essence of Stone. Gather a stack of Silicon Dark Side Moles. We get uh, some chests, which we're going to need, I'm sure. And then basically create Cobblestone. And Cobblestone is going to be Silicon Dark Side. I'm almost sure of it. Yeah, it's in a different place, but we get two stone. So for each one of those, we just need 32 silicon dioxide, and we'll just put it at the top left, and that's going to start making cobblestone for us. Uh, while we're there, why don't we just put you in there, and that will just get us a bit more power. And this is going to get us, obviously, another, well, more platform to actually work with. Uh, is that going to really just need more power still? Hmm. Come on, more power. I need a full stack of cobblestone, please. There we go. One stack. We're getting quite far away we're through this chapter in one episode. I'm quite I'm not happy with the progress so far. Uh, and we also get some more white antimatter from there. That's fine. Uh, we get some more stone and a speedy hopper from speedy hoppers. Presumably just a faster hopper. Fine. And then I guess we've got to go via the iron because we need that before we actually get down here. So to get the iron, uh, is there any better way of getting that dissolver from iron oxide? From iron horse armor, yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't think I have that uh, from cobblestone. Uh, but it's only like a 0.55% chance. That's not great, to be honest. Uh, I want something with the highest possible chance. <laughs> if I have to give up resources, that would be nice. Uh, is there anything in here that we can actually give up? Um, no. Unless I'm missing something. I could be missing something. Was that the... Yeah, the light grey antimatter. So that, that seems to be the easiest thing we can actually get hold of. So I just need to excavate a lot more of the light grey. And what do we get for that? We get a iron pickaxe. Okay. So with magnetic three on it. Fine. Break down light grey antimatter in the chemical dissolver to acquire your first iron. You can increase your yield by crafting dark grey antimatter. Okay. How do I craft dark grey antimatter? Grey antimatter... Is it just going to be carbon? Uh, it's just going to be tungsten. Okay, and we've got one tungsten. <laughs> It'd be nice if I got more than one. Okay, and what can we actually get with this if we put it in the dissolver? Uh, we get a 56% chance. So if we, got, if we put tungsten, we can upgrade our white to make grey, basically, if we want that as well. And we get a 20% chance of getting the tungsten back. Uh, that's not great, but uh, I guess um, I'm just going to dissolve this and see if we get any more. There is some more tungsten, and I'm going to need to get some more white, obviously, to surround that, but we have another piece of tungsten there, well, another mole of tungsten, and we should call it the right terms. And, yeah, so I'm off to excavate a little bit more, I think. I don't think there's anything I can do until I do that first, and we'll be back in a minute. There's our 48 iron. It's definitely worthwhile actually making the tungsten because you get more back than you actually put in well, over time. So if you do use the white, you will get more tungsten back and you will also get iron as well. So it's well worth doing. And uh, you have that available. So we can just put the tungsten away for now and then put you down there and the carbon can go away. In fact, we can put that away there and we can just right click everything else in. Um, we just, yeah, there we goes. So uh, from that, we are able to get an iron pickaxe. Good. Happy to have that, although I'm not sure what we're going to need it for just yet because we're, we're making stone sharpening kits, but eh, we'll see. Uh, clumsy, this is ecological cheap, it's getting cheap, and this one is magnetic three, but it is mining level diamond, so it is much better as far as that's concerned. So let's just put that away for the moment. And uh, then it's going to want us to make a bucket, which is some iron, so we're just going to combine. Uh, yeah, so it's, wow, 16 moles per, per iron ingot. Okay. Fine, I guess. Uh, even though I've just... Oh, I definitely need to automate this soon. Um, so, yeah, there's 16, and there's another... There's 48. And there we get three iron ingots. And from the iron ingots, we get a bucket. And that gets us that quest. Uh, we get an iron sharpening kit. Remember what I was talking about? <laughs> but why we need still need that when we've got stone sharpening kits? And now we've got an iron one. Good, and water buckets... In a chemical combiner? We need to get water somehow. Uh, how are we going to get water? Well, you imagine you might imagine just water. Uh, not quite. I would like to just get H2O. Yep, as you might imagine. And we have H and O, so I guess it's as magical and simple as doing something like this. So HO and we get water. Good. Let's get some of that back. We might not need that much. And then we'll combine that, uh, I think, uses, 
Uh, it's 16 water, is it? It is 16 water. Okay, so maybe not actually let that go so soon. Um, H2O, there we go. And now we should be able to get a water bucket. Cool. We're clearly going to have to have a lot of these combiners later. But that gets us the water bucket. And I hope we've got infinite water, but we'll see. We get some more dirt and a task screen. What's a task screen? I've not used that before. Lots of water. Um, submit 10 buckets of water. I'd highly recommend making an infinite water source before starting this quest. Yes, so shift and right click the task screen with an empty hand to get the set the target to this quest. Oh, okay, so you can submit fluids that way. Okay, fine. So uh, we need to put a task screen down somewhere. Um, we need to put that floor back as well. Let me just put that there. And let's just put our task screen down. Wow, that was larger than I was expecting. Okay, so the screen is that's this size. That's only one. Okay, fine. And uh, what did it say about that? Uh, shift right click the task screen with empty hand to set this target for this quest. Uh, task. And what the? No. Uh, 10 buckets of water. Yeah, there we go. So. That's fine, so we can submit, but we just need an infinite water source, which is fine. I guess we are going to use this H2O up, uh, H and O, and we're going to need more hydrogen, clearly. Yeah, so we're going to need more hydrogen. Um, oh, in fact, no, we don't. Uh, we've got some already, which need a little bit more power, and we should be okay there. Uh, let's put some apples in there. So, 13, 14... 15 and 16 and then we're also going to need unfortunately well we're not going to need another bucket we can actually get an infinite water source going here i think let's just get well assuming that we can have infinite water in the easiest possible way let's get water going that way see why now it says this is you know not for first time players you just don't have that much space the default map by the way if you want to try it just has uh, antimatter in all directions at the horizon so if you want to play it like that you can do uh, I however I'm going to want to just do this and hopefully yeah infinite water so can we just submit we can okay a bit repetitive <laughs> although we should be able to feed it in with, with conduits later there we go lots of water and we get another couple of iron sharpening kits, and that leads us towards high-tech vaporizing technology. Basically, a, a bucket that you'll leave underneath the sky, and it evaporates stuff. If put some water in the evaporator, you'll get mineral salts, which you can dissolve to get minerals. Okay, so evaporators is just going to need stone and stone. Pressure plates and stone we can cook up, but we don't have that yet. However, we can just make it straight off using silicon dioxide, and we do definitely have some of that. So let's just get... Um, I don't know, 10. Yep, and let's just put you in here. And we get 10 stone. Then we can just get those made up into... Oh, it was pressure plates, wasn't it? Yeah, so we need, what, four of those sets, is it, for this? Um, five. Okay, so I'm going to need a little bit more stone, but that's fine. So five of those, and then I just need a couple more silicon dioxide moles. Let's get four. Oh, I put them in the wrong place. Oh, that's annoying. Four more. Don't just shift click in unless you've got this locked into a particular recipe. That's the uh, that's the the uh, important thing there. Um, evaporating, evaporating. There they are. Evaporator. Oh, is that for one? We need four. Yeah, I'm clearly going to need to make more of these. That's fine. And we get world domination with open blocks, book as part of that quest reward. And finally, to the storage system. And there we go. There's our other three evaporators. And we get the quest, which gets us right here. Gets us the world domination with open blocks and gets us to the final thing, which is just a storage system. So we can basically... Uh, Take AE2 uh, refined storage, doesn't matter. Here, take both. So, there we go. End of the first episode, end of chapter one. And we're all the way out at, uh, well, basically finished with that chapter. 
and into chapter two, but that will have to wait until the next episode. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any questions, particularly regarding this mod pack, or indeed if you played through it yourself and you want to uh, you want to give other people advice, there is no problem doing that. All right, we'll see you next episode for some more of this. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.